Luke and Nate here with the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel and today we're in Seward, Alaska and we are going to be renting a boat and going fishing out there. We're going to be targeting salmon, halibut, rockfish, anything that'll bite. Are you excited Nathan? Yeah. Alright, let's do it. So these are the boats, huh? Yeah. Nice. There's, There's a radio, radio here. Um, to turn it on, you just turn the volume, throw a bag of ice in there, your bait or whatever. Yeah. And, and that's just GPS, not sonar? Yeah, so actually that's a fun, cool thing. The last guys that rented this boat, and we haven't been able to get another one yet, uh, managed to break off the sonar transceiver. We got ourselves a little morning fog here, so we're trying to wait for that to clear up before we head out. And we're just going through, getting a walkthrough of the boat, some instructions on some fishing spots to hit. and I'm getting excited. This is gonna be pretty awesome, you ready? Yeah. All right, let's do this. All right, the fog's lifting. We got our instructions. They're gonna take us down to the beach and launch us. All right, Nathan, you ready to get started? Yeah! All right, hold on tight. <laughs> We're just ripping along and I see something black come up out of the water and I see an air spout. I went, holy crap, there's a whale right in front of us. So I just Put it in neutral, turn off the engine, and uh, we're gonna see if he pops up here. Looks like he's gonna be a little shy. He's not popping up, so uh, we're gonna keep going. Couple of bald eagles just hanging out right over there. You'll see that all day long. Man, Resurrection Bay is just one of the loveliest places on earth. We did an awesome overnight hike and explored a World War II abandoned uh, army base up in these mountains a couple days ago, and it was just amazing. I'll put a link to that video in the description. But that's where we're gonna go camping. One of the things I'm doing is I'm checking out this island. I wanna do a survival camping video with Nathan. And uh, this is the island I wanna do it at, but I wanted to see it first. Looks awesome. Looks absolutely perfect. Oh, look at that, there's a kelp. There it is. What a fish. Is oh. <laughs> look at that. What is it? It's a little rock fish. It's not a big one, it's not a big one. Holy mackerel, that took two seconds. I caught up a fish with my own rod and my own boat. There you go. What you can do is tuck it under your arm and go up and down like this. Okay, you can do that? I'll get the other one out. Here, dig this one. Keep digging it. You got it? We're jigging these buzz bombs with treble hooks and I'm just using a little herring head to spike it. And that spiking seems to be working very well. Oh, here we go. Neat, neat. Oh, this is a big one. A big one, here. Hey, you want to reel it in? Here, hold on tight. Reel it in, reel it in. You gotta hold it on tight, he's a fighter. Go for it. Okay, you don't let go of my rod, please. Oh, I can see him. I can see him. Oh, Nathan. What did I catch? Uh, a rockfish, a nice one. Oh, we I got him. I catch. High five. You got him, we are catching fish. There we go, Nathan. <laughs> All right, I think this is one of the species we're supposed to let go. Oh, there we go. Okay, I've got this really waterlogged cheat sheet of which species are which, and the rockfish are divided into two categories. There's ones that you can take, you know, pretty liberally from, and the other that you're only allowed one a day. I think that was one of the one a day species. <laughs> This is my first time ever just going out by myself targeting rockfish and <laughs> having such a good time. We'll probably do this for a little bit and then we might move on and try some other stuff, but I'm really having a ball. 
Diggy, diggy. Now, that was kind of, whoa, 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 you got a huge hit. <laughs> oh, he just pounded that. Oh. So he does, so he's it. This one's a little different. He's a different color. Man, he swallowed that hook though. Here, we gotta just let him go. Here. There we go. I think those last two we caught were copper rockfish. Oh, I think he just got a bite. Here, start digging it. Oh, you, you got a fish? Oh, I can see him. Yeah, it's a different one. It's like the first one. Here, here, look here. Uh, look at that. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. There we go. I was unsnagging my lure and I hooked a fish. Goodness. Oh, he got off. It's another one of those black ones. This has been amazing, but we're gonna go try another spot. We're just, we're poking around. It's a big ocean. There's lots of fish. All right, so we've got ourselves a spot in much deeper water here. There, you can see there's this point that comes off the island and it drops from 36 to 180 feet to 599 to 774. That gets deep quick. And you can see the point of land there, just going like that. So I'm gonna get a little closer to shore because I don't even think I can reach the bottom with my fishing gear. But it's just like fishing a lake or a reservoir. Just look at the slope of the land, follow it out. All right, big piece of herring. Still going down, still going down. Still going. I think we might be too deep. Look at that. Something here. Yeah, we got a fish. Oh, it's a big fish. That is deep water trolling. I dropped it down about 200 feet and then slowly started easing the boat. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a rockfish. There we go. He was barely hooked. Look at that. There we go. That is a beautiful, beautiful rockfish. Now we're only allowed one of these a day, so I am limited out. He could, they come up from so deep, their air bladder expands in their mouth and you can't get them released unless you have a special device for doing that. So we're keeping them. Okay. Holy mackerel, Nate, is this cool? Yeah. <laughs> you want to catch a big one? All right, let's do it. Well, I like this spot. I just don't want to fish quite as deep. So I'm going to move the boat inland a little bit. We got over 200 feet of line out and we're just slowly idling the boat. This is deep, deep trolling. I think, I think we just got a hit. I think it was a fish. Oh, there's a fish, you want him? Man, that did not take long. That did not take long at all. What do you think it's gonna be? I think it's gonna be a big orange one, or, or maybe a shark, or a halibut, or a salmon, maybe a cod? Oh, look at that, he put a bed in that rod. I can't even see the color yet. A whale! Look, a whale just came up. Right there. A humpback whale. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, look at him. A whale. There's a humpback whale behind us. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Oh, that's a cod. Hold it. Stop, 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 stop. stop. Get in the water. Mom, that's a cod. All right. Woohoo! That's a cod. All right, that's a, I think that's a cod. Woo! High five, buddy. That's awesome, Nate. That makes awesome fish and chips, bud. Looks like we got the state troopers here. Hi. Well, thank you. Well, thank you very much. Be, be safe out here. Right. Okay, thank you. Thanks. Well, that was freaking exciting. Nathan's pulling up this big old cod and a massive humpback whale comes up right behind the boat. And we just hear this sound. We turn around and there's this tail going, whoom. It was so close. 
Then the state trooper showed up and checked our licenses, so lots happening. This is going so good, David. I'm so happy. All right, guys, I can't argue with results. What seems to be working is drop that bait down as deep as we can and then just kick it into idle speed and slowly troll. Man, we hit those last two fish within 30 seconds of doing this. As if the scenery couldn't get any better. There's Bear Glacier right there, folks. And see that mountain right there, Nathan? See that big one just to the right of the glacier? That's what we hiked. We kind of hit this spot hard. The tide changed on us and it's kind of shut down. So we're going to go try another spot. All right, we have another island, another point of land, and another steep drop off we're going to hit. There we go. That the old cake? Mm. All right, there you go, bud. You relax. We got some hits and had some fun, but I'm gonna go try another spot up here. <laughs> I'm having the best time. All right, got another spot, dropping it to the bottom, then puttering away. Oh, oh, there's something going on. Beautiful, beautiful dusky rockfish, man. Ooh. <laughs> That's where all my bait went. Nathan's been donating. Look at that. Oh. Oh. You just get hit? Yeah, we just got hit. Oh, I just got hit. No hook up. Four or five hundred feet of water, so I am literally letting out line until I am almost spooled. Yeah, look at that. I'm really fishing at the extreme end of my gear. All right, we're gonna just put it into gear and see if we pick one up. That's been the trick. Oh, look at that. Tan, tan, tan. Feels like it's... Another dusky. This one's whole guts came out. Did you have a good nap? You were asleep for a long time. No, not that long, Gigas. Eventually I fell down to the water. Yeah, you fell off onto that. Luckily that was soft. You, you fell off and didn't even wake up. <laughs> Rig's on the bottom. Let's put it in the gear. See if we pick up a fish. That's been the trick. Oh yeah, play him, buddy. Oh, woo! That is a spiky guy. <laughs> High five, buddy. This is a yellow-eyed rockfish, we're only allowed one. This is a quillback rockfish, we're only allowed one. So we're limited out for those types of rockfish. Me and Nate are maxed out on quillbacks and yellow-eyed rockfish. And there's a good chance if we keep fishing here, we'll catch one. And when you bring them to the surface, their air bladder comes out. So we're gonna go fish shallower water so that we can release any species of fish we're limited out on. This sure looks like a cool place to fish and it's a lot shallower too so we can release any fish we don't want to keep. I'm thinking maybe we should go try to get a bunch of pink salmon. The wind's starting to get nasty too so uh, oh, the salmon spot's closer to home. 
So that if the wind gets nasty, it's easier to get to get back. We're at the mouth of a salmon stream here in this little cove, surrounded by some beautiful mountains. And uh, I'm going to kind of look around and see if I can see any fish jumping. And uh, we might try trolling for salmon. All right, just saw a salmon jump right there. We're going to try to hit it. I switched both rods over to these spoons and we're going to be trolling them close to the shore. See if we can't pick up a salmon. Like it got a little greeling. Yeah, another greeling. Oh yeah, another greeling. <laughs> Look at that, another greeling. Well, we never did catch one of those darn peaks, but we caught the crap out of the greeling. So I think we better call it a day and go flay up some of these lovely fish. We got some cooking to do. There we go. Okay, you ready? You guarding those fillets, Nate? Yeah. All right. Well, we got three and a half fish filleted, and the seagulls got the rest. Dang it. <laughs> I was sitting there taking pictures of the fish with Nate. And Nate goes, the seagulls got some meat. And I look over and the seagulls flew off with three rockfish fillets. Jeez. Oh my goodness, that was so much fun. I want to do that again really bad. All right, back at the house, time to cook up those rockfish. We're making fish tacos. And to start, I'm going to make some homemade pico de gallo. And then... Um... That would be crazy. So now we're gonna make the chili cilantro sauce. We'll let the sauce and the pico de gallo sit in the refrigerator for a few hours, and then we'll get cracking on the rest of the tacos. All right, guys, there we go. Rockfish tacos. Hey, Jacob, how do you like your uh, fish taco? Good. Good? You got that? You need help? Mmm, got a belly full of rockfish. That feels good. If you guys want to see more catch and cook videos from the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, don't forget to click subscribe. We put out new videos every Saturday morning and we have an entire playlist of catch and cook videos. I'll put a link to that in the video description. Thanks for watching guys. See you next Saturday.